There is one secret flow that nobody is talking about and barely any e-commerce brands have it. It's called site abandonment and it's an extremely profitable flow that generates a ton of sales and drastically increases your conversion rate. In this video, I'll explain what this flow is, why you need it and how to set it up. Now, if this is the first time you meet me, my name is Konrad Wysocki and I've been able to generate over 7 figures in sales for multiple e-commerce brands just from email marketing. I post weekly detailed videos to help e-commerce brand owners grow their business without relying on paid ads. Okay, so what site abandonment flow is? Well, this is the flow where we pretty much recover people who are active on site. And it goes about being active on site in general, but as I like to do exclusions, and I will show you what I mean by exclusions later on when I show the exact structure, is that when you send someone or send traffic in general to your page, like homepage, and they're active on site but didn't click any of products uh, or categories, this is what we call site abandonment. So using Gymshark as an example, let's say you're sending traffic to your homepage, people land here, they're like, okay, you know, they're browsing, they're visiting the website, reading everything, going down, going down, going down, and let's say they scroll down, uh, like, you know, they play around a little bit, but don't click anything and leave the website. This is what we call site abandonment because then you have like the other step is uh, a browse abandonment, which is when someone viewed the products. Or you can also do collection abandonment. So let's say someone actually clicked on pages women, uh, they're you know on this website, but they left. It would still be browse abandonment and you can promote some bestsellers, but this video is solely about site abandonment. So again, site abandonment is mainly about when someone was active on the website, they were viewing the products on the homepage, but didn't view any single product. So if they clicked on a product, if they had a product page, they wouldn't receive this flow. So now that I will show you how to actually create it in Clavio. Okay, first thing you need to do is just go to Shopify and see if the connection or integration is done properly. Just simply click uh, in the bottom left corner, the integrations and Shopify. It will show you if the onsite tracking is live. If it is, then great because you must have it in order to track the active onsite event. So then if you want to create the flow, just simply go to flows as you would be creating the usual flow. But the thing is that with this abandonment, we don't have a pre-made flow or pre-made template because if you type in abandonment pretty much, uh, or like browse, I don't know why I didn't pick up, but yeah, as you can see, there is a browse abandonment, there's also a card abandonment, where when we type in card, it says abandoned card reminder, abandoned checkout reminder, this one, but then for site, we don't have anything at all. So we just go create from scratch, call it site abandonment uh, as it is, create the flow, and then just create a flow based on metric. So the trigger is a metric which is active on site. You'll have this metric um, as usual when you just have the integration done properly. But then what I like to do uh, is just go to filters and add flow, flow filters and remove every single person that would be uh, further in the flow. So we want everyone who was, you know, like the, we have people that have viewed product zero times since starting the flow. And in general, this flow, this filter would be enough because if someone didn't view the product, then most of the times it's impossible that they added it to cart or started the checkout or even placed the order. But I don't trust like the tracking 100%, especially with the iOS updates and so on. Uh, and I always exclude all the events. So for all the events that are after someone uh, was active on site, I exclude all of them. Uh, including the purchase so then I know that people that receive this flow won't receive any other flow uh, like abandoned car checkout or browse abandonment because otherwise it would be just sending them a bunch of emails where exactly like in, in truth like truth is that they shouldn't be getting those emails uh, because if they will go let's say that you have time delay for each flow 30 minutes then all of the sudden they'll receive email from every single flow which is active uh, site abandonment browse abandonment car abandonment and abandoned checkout so we would be sending them email from four flows, which is terrible because they will be like market spam very as quick as possible. So yeah, that's why I want to have those filters. And then one more, it has not been in the flow uh, in the last 30 days. And I also like to add bounced email zero times since uh, like, you know, over time, right? Zero times over time, exactly. So this is how I go about the filters and then you just pretty much create the, uh, the flow itself. So time delay, usually I go with anywhere between 30 minutes up to even two hours. I always like to A-B test that when I set up a flow and then you just have one email and that's it. Now I'll show you what the structure actually is and what to send in this email. Okay, here's the exact structure. So uh, it isn't very exhaustive by any means, but the thing is that, you know, we send only one email where we promote best sellers or help people make a choice. And the reason is that, you know, this is pretty much a cold traffic. So they've been on your website, they've seen it, but they weren't incentivized enough to click the product. 
So we want to show them best sellers or best selling items because may maybe some of them, uh, they will like some of them and they'll click on or buy them or whatever. And also we want to ask them a question if everything goes okay, if we can help with anything because maybe they have some objections that weren't mentioned on the website. So we want to make sure that we solve those and this is pretty much it. And the reason why you want to have this flow is that probably the volume for this one will be the highest one out of all the flows because you will have the most people leave your website at this exact stage unless you're sending ads to product pages, uh, sending traffic or running ads to that direct and see people to product pages. This flow is gonna have the highest volume because most people will just visit your homepage, don't click any product and just leave. So it will be higher or comparable to browse abandonment, but you just need this to promote those people and actually make them to one step further to view the product and then if they view the product, we'll be sending them another flow, which is browse abandonment, which is one step further and then you can have up to five emails. But with this one, we don't want to annoy those people because they were active on our website just once. So you don't want to be, you know, sending them five emails long sequence that will be over, that will take over five days to complete because they'll just mark you as spam. They are not that familiar with your brand. They just saw it, they remember it, but not that well. So we want to stay on top of their minds, remind about everything that they've done, uh, about the website, the UGC, sorry, USP, not UGC, uh, everything else. And yeah, promoting best sellers is always your best child because, and you are not giving any incentives. It doesn't really make sense to give them a discount code because they didn't even view the product. So pricing is not the objection at all. Uh, so yeah, this is how you will go about it. It's very simple, very straightforward. Make sure you do it. It's not gonna be like crazy money printer, but it's gonna bring you some consistent revenue for sure. So make sure you do it and A-B test time delay for the same time because I guarantee that if you go 30 minutes versus two hours, the results are gonna be way different. I don't know which one would, w would win, but usually I find that shorter time delay wins when, for example, 30 minutes is perfect. So yeah, make sure you check it out and set up this flow because it's, it's extremely profitable. Site abandonment is just one out of nine core flows. If you combine those flows with high converting campaigns and sign up form, you can make anywhere between 30 to 50% of your total revenue from Klaviyo or email marketing. If you want me to handle your email marketing and profitably scale your e-commerce store, book a call with me using a link in the video description down below. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like, subscribe, and if you want to learn more about other high converting flows, I have a whole playlist that covers every single flow possible where I break down the structure step by step. Thanks for watching, have a good one, and on to the next one. Bye!